thanks for checking out the very first uh, Northeast Brand podcast. This one, this first episode, corresponds with week one of the YQT Wednesday campaign that we're doing this year. I'm speaking with my buddy Tyler Sklazeski. Uh, he goes by Facing North on Instagram, and we went out and hiked Mink Mountain and just took a few photos up there with our friend Dave and had a little chat whilst up on the mountain in a blizzard, um, snow flying everywhere and really couldn't see a single view of the lake when we were up there. We had a bit of a, an interesting conversation just talking about Thunder Bay, some of Tyler's passions, talking about um, exploring the area around Thunder Bay and getting into a little bit about photography. Uh, so for, for any of you out there with those interests, have a little listen and I hope you enjoy. Tyler, first, first official YQT Wednesday featuring Tyler Sklazeski, also known as Facing North on Instagram. I mean, I think it's kind of fitting being out here first with you, to be honest, because the shots that you take and just the, the stuff you do like on the weekends, heading out, trying to find the new spots, new adventures, new places to go that people haven't been, it just kind of like... That's what I, I wish I was doing sometimes with Northeast, but it's You're just, inspiring others to do it. Hey, that's all I can ask for. I mean, <laughs> if, if that's what happens, I, I'm thrilled. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's great. Like, there's such a great local culture now of uh, just local product, you know, people getting out more and hiking. Uh, there's apps to do it. So, like, more people are just getting out, experiencing all this. Because, like, the more I travel, honestly, that's what, kind of what got me into it is... I didn't know about any of this stuff growing up, you yeah. know. So the Northwesters are like a wall where you just look at it and you're like, oh, you know, there's it's kind of a mountain and you don't look behind it. But like, once you start to dig in all these areas, uh, it's world class. Yeah. You know, just tra traveling around North America, you really uh, you go to all these places and you come back home and like, it really holds up, you know. Like, there's some really unique places and like, what you don't see here is people. So I mean, you know, you, you go to Zion. You go to uh, the Rockies and you're lining up to get into a lake or to top out on some mountain. Whereas here, you've got it all to yourself, and a lot of it is relatively like undiscovered, kind of fresh ground that you can really just dig into. And uh, obviously, be safe, you know. And I like always having a GPS, uh, having uh, supplies like a light straw, stuff like that. Just so if things get weird, which often they do with me, then uh, <laughs> you can uh, kind of be prepared. So Hold back up for a second. Maybe I'll ask you this and you can think about it. Has there, was there a time when things got really dicey that you can think of? If you can't think of it right now, we'll oh, come back so to it. So many times. So, and that's part of it is like pushing it responsibly. We're like, you, you, you know the general direction of where something might be. You have a lot of info, but it's it's so hard to follow. Give, give us something. Yeah. So yeah, we all know uh, Damien from Epica. And so we, uh, we went with a big group uh, out to Dorian Tower, which is kind of a rock pillar uh, in Dorian. Nice. But uh, way too early, thought there'd be no snow, and uh, there was like way steep snow. So I'm wearing dress pants, uh, you know, <laughs> shoes, and it's probably like a 15k trek because the road was out. We had to hike all the way up the road. So we lost about half the group who turned back, and then uh, we pretty much took a wrong turn. Finally got there, but it was, uh, no one was happy, and uh, we all thought we were probably going to just never return at a certain point. So uh, nice. I don't think I've lived that one down yet among the group. Because that was but, your um, decision. That was all me. That was all my info. And I just didn't think there'd be a lot of snow. And right. In Thunder Bay, you can always bank on there being lots of snow. And so, uh, like today. And in that situation, you were with people that have been out, kind of seasoned vets. Kind of. They kind of um, like know the look, know the spots. And as a group, that's so a nice thing. I always like having a group where you can bounce <laughs> things off people. So you're hiking. Right. I might think, you know, hey, I think I think the trail goes this way. Someone else sees something different. You kind of meet in the middle. And uh, it, it's just a great way to get out with friends and nice and uh, not become stranded. One thing is that I've definitely noticed that anyone who hangs out with you, goes on these hikes, uh, has a beer with you, you have like this insane amount of knowledge of Thunder Bay and the surrounding area and um, I don't know. History and that, yeah. Yeah, a lot of history knowledge. It's, uh, 
it's it, like what is there just something that's just that's just a part of you or was yeah. there like something that was like you know what i want to get into I think, this i look like hiking right so like you know you see the northwesters growing up you see all these features but you're far away from them you never yeah. dig it and once you see what's actually out there it's like we live in a totally different city than i thought we lived in right and with the history it's the same we're like we had a lot of great old buildings and like the history of thunder bay is incredible and the architecture and all so you kind of like then you realize oh wow there's this like we're like a european city in the 30s you know and you just start to dig in so with hiking you know you get out in these areas where you see these rock cuts and you start to wonder like where did this come from you know so you start looking at the geology of it uh, how all this formed kind of and so you just get into all those things too and they kind of help inform your hike too Where you can say okay a lake used to run down here it cut through the rock and I can actually hike up that now Because that's a nice like even grade through yeah. the cliff, you know So yeah, it's just the more you get out the more you get curious about how these features came to be and uh, Kind of like the start of the city and everything. So yeah, that's cool fun hobby so You also like photography has been a huge part of all this for you um, you frequently are doing work for the walleye, um, your job at Shout Media, you're doing tons of design work and I'm assuming some photography there too. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and so like photography for you, I guess, is it just been, always been something that's there? It's, is and it I mean, something part, that spun that off? Yeah, like we, I went to Europe pretty young, uh, out of university and just kind of had a window and took it and you can't help but. Totally. want to shoot it you know so we had this little canon point and shoot camera uh actually did pretty well and just threw it in the pocket and started snapping and then it kind of escalates and then you start buying more and more gear and then you have to <laughs> actually use it i guess and yeah. Uh, so yeah like advertising and marketing works well because like you just you look at nature you look at textures you look at shapes and stuff and uh and it all kind of informs design you know so it's kind of all works together where you're shooting you're framing and in design you're doing kind of similar things so and i think having like local inspiration from the, the areas that you live in really makes it more powerful when you create things, you know, and design and do photography. So yeah, so it's, uh, it's a cool hobby and, uh, and there's lots of inspiration in the area to get out there and create totally. things. And would you, like if you, if you have someone who's say like, feeling like they want to take a, another step with something like photography, like not in the business sense, yeah, just but just you know. in terms of like honing their craft, what would be like the one thing that you just feel like they should understand or know like to get them just going? take out a small loan initially and that'll really help. <laughs> um, but uh, I think it's just keep doing it and don't let, you know, uh, don't get down on whether things are perfect or whether... Uh, I agree. Yeah, you yeah. know, because everyone starts somewhere and, you know, what is it, 10,000 hours? So you just put in your time. Some people have a natural eye and that helps yep. a lot. So, I mean, some people, it can be difficult, but if you keep you know struggling and shooting and getting out there you're already out in a beautiful place it's already really enjoyable and hey if you're taking photos it's not hard and you're eventually gonna get better you know and then you can document it but part of it also honestly is the more I shoot the less I shoot where making sure that that shot counts and you're not spending your whole hike just looking through the viewfinder you know nice. uh, is important because uh, it's easy to just get caught up in capturing that moment and not it being in that moment and actually having fun and experiencing it you know sweet yeah thanks for doing this for being the first guinea pig for yqt wednesday um i'm really excited to put this out there and get some traction to your instagram feed and and just get people excited about thunder bay and the surrounding area so absolutely thanks for having me man <laughs>